Hi, this is Debbie. I'm trying to get my camera all set up to do this video tutorial that was requested, and it's on how to do those um, the circuit boards for the light-up cards. And so I'm going to get started. Um, now, aluminum foil is just fine if that's all you have around the house. You can also use a copper tape, which I have some of that, and this aluminum tape here that you just buy at the um, hardware store also works really nice but since most of us have aluminum foil laying around this is what I'm going to use so I have my aluminum foil strips cut and that's a piece of foil from earlier I have um, my little battery um, light the, the C, this is a CR2025 and you can use the other little batteries like this and this is my LED and if you look closely at it you'll see that one side is longer than the other so the longer side is the positive side and if you want to make sure you're doing this correctly just put a little plus there and a little minus there so I'm going to go ahead and grab a pencil and do that so you just put a little plus to remind you and a little minus there because these are our negative and our positive um, little circuits that we're going to run. Okay, now I'm going to get started and I'm going to um, remind you that don't tear this and make it into little pieces because it, it makes kind of a not for a nice connection. So what I do is I just start folding it and it doesn't have to be all neat, nice and neat and everything. It's kind of hard to get it all nice and neat. So, I put that there. And I'm going to put some of this right here. And I know I need to cut it right about there. So I'm just going to snip that off because I've measured it. And So this is my negative side all set up. And it doesn't have to stay perfectly on these lines in the template. This is just a basis for you to give you an idea of where to put your foil and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and start taping this down. I'm going to tape some here. Hold on, I'm going to lift that tape up because I want to make sure I get my LED light down before I tape that part. And since I'm not going to be using this. It doesn't matter if I tear it a little because I'm going to tear it. But I'm trying not to tear my foil. Okay. Lift off. There we go. Okay, so just to kind of keep it in place, like I said, I'm going to tape it. So this time I think I'll start off taping it in the middle. And I'm going to add another piece of tape down here. And then remember, this is the negative side. So the positive side's up and the negative side will be down. And I don't want to tape this entire battery. So I'm just going to put a piece on this end of it. And that will hold it into place. And I'll put another little piece on this end, but I'm going to kind of split my tape here because I want to make sure that this is going to be have a connection to it. Okay, now we're going to go off and do the positive side. And again, just make you a little fold. Go on down to this area here. I pinched it so I know where to cut it. I'm going to cut it right here. And now I'm going to grab that tape and tape this down.
little piece up here in the corner. And now remember, the longer side, and you can always use um, one of the little jewelry tools and, or, and just twist this to, so you can make sure that you remember it's the positive. But since I know this is my longer one, I'm just going to go ahead and bend these now. And bend this one. And we want them then right here, right in here, on that dot. And we want to make sure they're laying on our foil. So once we get this all straightened up, we can tape that down. So I'm going to move this over a bit, tape that side down, my positive side, grab some more tape, and tape my negative side down. Trying to keep it where it stays standing up because it's going to poke through that card. Okay, and now that strip that you had, what I did, and I actually made a longer strip because I like it a little thicker, is I just kind of fold it and fold it and fold it like that. And you can add a little glue here if you want. I think I'll go ahead and do that real quick. I have some turbo glue. So, so there we go. I'll have the cap in my mouth. That's why it sounds so funny. Okay, press that down. And see how this is going to have a little bit of a lift? And that's what we want to be our touch button. Okay, so what do we do next? is we just make sure that this strip is covered so I'm just going to take a piece of foil and wrap it around here and that's easy as pie Taking that strip and just wrapping it around. And now we can test it. See how we push? And it's working. So what we need to do next is glue this little piece in place. Since we tested, tested it and it's working. And once again, the glue cap is in my mouth, bad habit. So now that you have that all done, all you have to do is, <coughs> now I didn't cut this with the silhouette or use the cutting file, I just printed it and then I poked a hole in there with a pair of scissors. But what you want to do now is just simply Go in. I'm going to make this opening a little bit bigger since this is just for a tutorial. That looks fine to me. And let me hold it with my hands. That'll probably do better. And I may go back later and add some more tape around this. And it's not going to be as perfectly lined up since I just quickly cut this. Make sure that works. And you want to put your press here, little button right here. Press here. Or you can put press here. And just put your cupcake there on top. And there you go. Oh, and when you put this side in here, let me go ahead and trim this up so I can show you better. Get rid of this white edge. I'm not going to cut into my foil or battery or anything else. So, but this is just to give you an idea. As you can see, I'm touching it. And then, before you even stick it through the hole, what I did is, let me get this back out again without tearing it up 
and I'm definitely going to add some more tape here so it would be easier to get in the next time. Hold that up a little bit straighter for me. Because you definitely want to make sure that all of these are nice and secure so it will work well. And then what I did is I just went around these edges here and with some glue and then I stuck it over here. I made sure that my my um, LED light went through it. And then I just held it down to the glue dry, which I use the Turbo Tacky glue, the Adeline's, so it dries really fast. And then you can go ahead and embellish the front with your cupcake, or this is one from PC Crafter that I cut out. And isn't that pretty? Okay, I hope this video tutorial will help show all of you how to create your circuit boards and how really, really easy it is. And I also, inside the, down, the download from my blog, I had links for places to purchase all of this stuff, including the copper tape and some other things. And later on, I'll do another video tutorial on how to use the other type of LED lights that's really cool. And maybe we'll have time to do more um, circuit, different circuits with you. Who wouldn't love that little light? Okay, everyone, you have a great day or a great evening wherever you are. And um, I hopefully I'll be chatting with you all soon. Remember, you can download this card cutting file over at my blog, um, www.paperpulse.blogspot.com. It comes with the Studio V2 file, a Studio V3, the instructions a little diagram of this um, explaining the different parts and a material list so if you want to check this out just hop on over there alright see you all later bye now